This is what we call BBBC, not the ABC, the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, or the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation. But it's the BBBC, the Back to Back to Basics classes. So here we are. This originated in Nabadeep, in the beautiful, beautiful Sri Chaitanya Sarasat Mat. And under the auspices of Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj, and by the inspiration of the devotees, they wanted to hear some things to get our feet firmly where they're meant to be on firm ground for our journey. So that's just a mini bit of history. And Govinda Nandini, she heard about this and she said, can we do the same online? So here we are online, uh, happily together. And uh, we've been discussing various things over the course of, um, I don't know, a little while now. Oh, I mean, others got a hand up. You That's have a, a hand. No, it's we're just we're clapping Govinda Nandini, Maharaj. <laughs> oh, you're clapping Govinda Nandini. Okay, I don't know all the digital etiquette, so uh, please excuse <laughs> me. Okay, then I can also clap Govinda Nandini. We are very happy to, because anything which brings the devotees together, it is a happy thing. And we have seven times you have to clap. Today is the twenty seventh class. Today is the twenty seventh class. Oh my goodness! Somebody's organized. <laughs> and maybe, um, maybe Govinda Nandini, oh yes, a clap, okay, now I'm learning about the claps. Govinda Nandini, did it. maybe you can put that summary link here, then Kat and Dibbishati or any of us, we can go to that summary link, which has got what's happened in the past. Because as we've done for the last two or three programs, we want to begin with slokas that we have like revised and remembered word by word, and we have the meaning. So um, if you can just drop that into here, we've got those slokas which are um, to Guru, to Vaishnavas, to Mahaprabhu, and which other slokas were we going to say today? By the way, did we go through Bhagavad Bhaktita Sarvam? Oh, we did. Okay. Because sometimes I take it for granted that we do because it's so um, usual for us, if you like. But I'm, go I'm going to have a trick question for us in a short time. So be ready for a trick. Well, it's not really a trick question. It's a real question. But oh, we're uh, just going to go, Maharaj. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's a real question. But it's very similar wording to what Gurudev has said about that verse, Bhagavad Bhakti Sarvam. You only need this verse. One verse you can learn and put in your heart, you will get everything. Okay. So, Kat, just bear with us as we go through. We're just going to do a no auspicious beginning um, with these slokas. And so let us, those of us who know, I think four shlokas, correct? Which is to Guru, Omagyana, Timurandasya, to the Vaishnavas, Vancha Kalpa Tarubhyas Cha. Then, then to Mahaprabhu, which is Namo Mahavadanyaya. Then we do Bhagavad Bhakti Ta Sarvam. Then Panchatattva Mantra, Hare Krishna Mantra. This is going to be our mini invocation. Okay, Dibya? Yeah, I'm good. I just, it's just so weird because uh, I have my headphones on and now you're like too loud and I, I, I turn it down and it doesn't even go down. So either I don't hear you or you're too loud in my headphones. But anyway, it's, it's all right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dibya. I apologize. No, no, you know, I'm not very, you know, literate in any sense, so. <clears throat> it's my stupidity. It's there okay, though. Two extremes, but the middle point is what we're looking for. Krishna in the middle, God in the middle. Not the biggest, not the smallest, but in the middle. But here I am. I'm not in the middle. I'm at an extreme. Too soft or too loud. Okay. Without further ado, let us begin. So together, those four verses. So slowly... The first one to Guru. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Jnana Shalakaya 
chakshur anmilitam yena tasmai shri gurave namaha. Then to the Vaishnavas, bancha kalpa tarubhyas cha, kripa sindhu bhya eva cha, patitanam pavanebhyo vaishnavebhyo namo namaha. Then to Mahaprabhu, the most magnanimous. Namo Maha Vadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gora Trije Namaha. Okay, and then the one sloka, if we can learn and put in our heart, Bhagavad Bhaktita Sarvam, together. Bhagavad Bhaktita Sarvam Ityutrija Vidher Api Kainkaryam Krishna Padaika Ashrayatvam Sharanagatihi. Okay, you all did very well. And in the meantime, an, an auspicious arrival of Jivana from San Jose and some associates, I think. But we only had a glimpse of you, Jivana, with your, with your camera on. Then you hid from us. All right. So this is our mini invocation to give uh, honor where honor is due, which is actually everywhere. But specifically to Guru, the Vaishnavas, means the devotees of Krishna, to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who's, who's giving the highest goal, Krishna Prema, to everybody and then Bhagavad Bhakti Sarvam. Just be a devotee of Krishna and you don't have to worry about anything in any department. So, this is our uh, invocation with verses that we know, starting from here. Uh, and oh, did we went through Kale Dosha Nide Rajan. We did go through Govinda Nandini, did we? Okay, yeah. we need a vote because Praneshri was shaking her head and you were saying yes. Okay, so let us also say Kale Dosha Nide Rajan because this is reminding us about Kali Yuga where we live and about the one huge biggest quality, one very great quality, the chanting of the holy names. So let us say this first. Thank you Govinda Nandini for the the reminder. So slowly, together. Kaler dosha nidhe rajan asti hyeko mahan gunaha kirtanad eva krishnasya mukta sangha param brajet. Abhinava and Kelly, your lips were not moving. Paralyzed lips. We weren't even trying oh. to pretend, Maharaj. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> I think we missed that altogether. Yeah. Oh, must have okay, that. but I expect it's in this link which is here. Uh, that's and to the class. There are links to videos. Yeah, it's that's in the, the classes. Group. You guys are in the group though, right? On Facebook? Uh, yeah, we don't really Facebook much. <laughs> I can post it here if you like. Yeah, well, that'd be good. great. Thank you. Okay. And okay, please do post it there because also for Kat, we are sort of revising what we have revised. Um, but these verses, Kat, we're not just trying to like recite some Sanskrit mantras without knowing what we're doing. We're, we have some like very key, very important verses, short, as you've heard, but actually clear. And when we get even a little bit used to the Sanskrit, then, of course, we always need the translation, but we can more or less learn what the words are and feel what we're saying. So this verse, if you can see, Kale Dosha Nidei Rajan, if you click at the bottom of the screen or somewhere, you, you can click chat. Then in the chat box, you'll see now Govinda Nandini's posted that verse. And just before it, she asked, Kala Dosha Nidhi Rajan, are we going to see that one? She is so fast. She was ahead of all of us. That's why I was saying, no, 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 we haven't, we haven't. She says we haven't. 
Sorry, I missed her. She said, she said what? <laughs> well, she posted the outline of all the classes, and yes. then we were uh, guided by you. We were uh, doing this uh, banana, and she's very fast. So she already had the question there. What about colored dosha? What happened? So when you said, have we gone through? I said, no, no, we haven't. We haven't. She said, we haven't. <laughs> she okay, got it. <laughs> so all is good. We all now have Kale Dosha Nide Ra Nidje Raj uh, Rajan Nidhe Rajan here with us now. And so we can see. And so actually for us all it is very good to go through. And as Abhinav and Kelly were not moving their lips and Jivana, I could not see your lips, and Rupanuga Prabhu, I could not see your lips. So I suspect maybe they weren't moving too much oh jivana turn on your microphone say hello we've all said hello to each Yay. other Dandavad, i have illustrious company today Yay. okay <laughs> who's with you introduce who is with you then everybody knows because they're very small on my screen davy nandarani davy dasi yes super servitor and her beautiful daughter angel Sita, I mean. <laughs> okay, Dandavat, very, very welcome. And you're all in San Jose, your house, is it, Jivana? Yes, 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 yes. All right, very good. So welcome. We are all trying to do something good for each other, which is giving us all a slap on the cheek to remember <laughs> the basics of our devotional life. We're not flying off in the sky thinking that we've got everything captured. We are concentrating as both Gurudev and Gurmaj uh, stressed to us, concentrating on the foundation. They'll look after everything else. So we're discussing this verse. Oh yes, Dibya Shakti's got a hand. But you have to turn off your, turn on your microphone, Dibya. Um, where can I find this verse? Kaladosha uh, Videya Raja. Where can I find it? Uh, well, I don't have in, that one. Oh look, Kelly's pointing. It's in the chat box, but you have to look on your screen. You're on your Samsung telephone, right? Yeah. Or is it Not an iPhone? Samsung. Samsung. No. So is anyone using a Samsung phone? Can you tell her where is the little chat click? I don't think we get the chat. I could be wrong. No, it's okay. Uh, I'll get it from somebody. That's okay. You have to look for the icon that says chat. It has a little box. Okay. And it says chat always. And, and okay, who's going to tell us? Oh, it's Srimad Bhagavatam. Anyway, if you can't no find problem. the chat Don't box. Don't let me take your time. It's okay. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll get it together later. Okay, but listen, Dibya, you've got a pen and paper. Just note, it's Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 12. Chapter 3, verse 51. 12, 3, 51. Just oh, perfect. Okay. Then you can get that. And if you go okay, on the no Veda problem. base, you'll get it word by word. And that's actually what we're okay. seeing in the, in the chat box is the Veda base word by word. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, welcome, welcome. Okay, so Jeevna Dibya, all of us, Kat Rupanuga, Madhusudan. We're, all of us are going to revise this, this verse because we're here and it's so important for us. So, Kaler Dosha Nidhe. We all know about Kali Yuga, the age of, uh, of quarrel, the Iron Age. The, the not, it's the opposite of the Golden Age, is the Iron Age. So, this is the age we're in, Kali Yuga. So, Kaler Dosha Nidhe. Dosha is fault, and Nidhe is ocean. So Dosha Nidhe, the fault ocean. In Kali Yuga, the fault ocean. Rajan, because this is spoken to the king. So like it's saying, in, this, uh, in Kali Yuga, there's an ocean of fault, dear king. Because who's speaking this is Shukadev Goswami, who is giving the conclusion of, of best use of the life of the king. The king has one week to live. And Shukadev Goswami is explaining to him, in this ocean of faults of Kali Yuga, Kale Dosha Nidhe Rajan, dear king. 
asti hi eka mahan gunaha. There is certainly asti, there is he certainly eka one ek dui ting cha pan choi shat, the counting one, two, three, four, five. There is certainly one eka mahan, very great gunaha. Guna is quality, a good quality, well, a very great quality, you can say. Kirtanat, by chanting, eva, another word for certainly, Krishnasya, of the holy name of Krishna, Mukta Sangha, liberated from material bondage. We always hear Mukti, mung, uh, etc. Mukta Sangha, liberated from material bondage, Param, to the topmost, he says, a transcendental spiritual kingdom, Brajet, one can go. And Guru Maharaj explains about this word Brajet or Braja, that this is also a reminder of what is the top destination. Is Braja, Vrindavan, the land of love with Krishna. So this is the verse, this is this verse which is so good for us. My dear king, although Kali Yuga is an ocean of faults, there is still one good quality about this age. Simply by chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, one can become free from material bondage and be promoted to the transcendental kingdom. And why Hare Krishna Maha Mantra? Because within the translation also you can say there's a like a clear explanation following the, the translation of Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, that Kirtanad Eva Krishnasya, then he's already coming to the point that what is that Kirtan, that glorification of the name of Krishna? In another place it's told, in particular in Kali Yuga, the Maha Mantra of the Lord's names is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So that's how we've got a little more here in the translation than, than was in the direct word by word meaning. So Kaler Dosha Nidhe Rajan Asti Hi Eko Mahan Gunaha Kirtanar Eva Krishnasya Mukta Sangha Parang Vrajet. So a very wonderful verse to keep with us. Oh, there is one verse we didn't come, we didn't go through, which certainly we have gone through. Because there is another verse that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said to wear on a necklace around your neck and the string of the necklace will be the holy names of the Lord. Now put up your hand if you can say what that verse is that we are meant to thread on the necklace of the holy name and wear around our neck for constant remembrance. Put up your hand. <laughs> Abhinavasanda covered the, <laughs> covered the screen. Anybody else? No. You all know it. Yes, Debya, thank you. Praneshwari, you're just joking with me. You're, you're really... You do know the verse. Okay, Divya Shakti Didi, unmute your microphone. Tell us the verse. I'm sure we went through this, but maybe not. Un unmute your microphone. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> this, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu declared this Trinada piece for each other. It's his verse. This is Mahaprabhu's own composition. And when he declared this verse, then he, um, oh, it's, I think the very first verse before that, the verse just before he said that, that where this verse, I'm going to tell you a verse, and where it's on a necklace, string this verse on a necklace around your neck, and then the String being the holy name mm -hmm. and keep it there for your constant remembrance. Then Mahaprabhu told this verse Trinadapi Sunichena Taroriva Sahishnuna Amanina Manadina 
Kitanya Sadaharihi. So Govinda Nandini, did we we must have gone through Chinada peace and We we no? did. I just have never heard about the necklace thing before. Ah, uh, okay. No, Where is no, that no. from? Is that uh, from it's from the... Chaitanya Charitamrita. Oh, okay. And where is it from in Chaitanya Charitamrita? Uh, Adi, uh, yes, yes, it's Shikshasakam. Uh, Adi Leela, chapter number 17, verse 31. And uh, actually, somebody can just take a quick look. It's so Adi Leela of Chaitanya Charitamrita, chapter 17, verse 31. And by the way, Kat, you're hearing everything. So for those of you who joined a little bit afterwards for Jeevana and who else? Oh, and Anderson Doris joined us here too. Then Kat, Catherine McCloyd given here. Uh, Kat, <laughs> a, a good, sincere, honest soul <laughs> from Australia who we've met on different <laughs> occasions. And it's her first time joining this, uh, like back to back to basics. But Kat, Thanks, Yes. When we've when we've been together there in Australia, we've explained a, a, about this verse and about the other verse. I think in maybe not quoting the verse directly, but explaining that these are some of the very key points of of adjusting our life properly. Correct. And, yes. Yeah. So even without the Sanskrit, the message of these verses. The first one, we are in Kali Yuga, the age of quarrel, difficulties, um, you know, all kinds of things. Fault, the age of fault. Yeah. But we have the holy name, and this is a great boon, a great uh, advantage for being born at this time in Kali Yuga. So this is you know, very hopeful for us. And then how to chant the holy name, we have this verse, Trinada Pisunichina, Taro Reva Sahishnuna, Amanina, Manadina, Kirtanya Sadaharihi. This verse is telling us to be, as we've heard, as an anacronym, is it an acronym? Whatever the word is, where you take the first letters. We need to be hot. H O T. Humble. Offer honor. Offer begins with O, honor begins with H. Mohanananda Prabhu, learn your spelling. Okay, so hot. He said, humility, honor, and tolerance, hot. We had to explain to him, Mohanananda, honor begins with H, not O. So then we adjusted it to offer honor. Okay, so humility, we need to be humble. We are in a environment where we can't adjust the environment we we have to be humble tolerant we have to tolerate everything oh no hum, humble honor honor so honor means give honor to others not expect honor for oneself or want honor but to give honor to others everything is the lord's creation everything is amazing and we have to honor all of the lord's creation we are at fault not the environment so humility, offer honor, and be tolerant, hot. And this is the verse we just said, Chinad Apisuni Chinad Sahishuna. And then, okay, Govinda Nandini is put in the chat box for those of you who found the chat button. The verse, is this verse just before it or just after it, Govinda Nandini? It's right after it. Oh, it's just after it. Okay, so... Mahaprabhu tells this verse, Trinada Pisunichina, to be hot, humble, give honor, be tolerant. And then he says this verse, which we can see. Udva bahua, bau, udva bahu, kori kahon, shunna sarva loka. Listen, everybody. Shunna sarva loka. Nama sutre ganti para konte eshloka. Raising my hands, I declare. Everyone, please hear me. String this verse on the thread of the holy name and wear it on your neck for continuous remembrance. This is Mahaprabhu. So we should do that at least. Okay, we don't have to go out and carve the Sanskrit on a 
<laughs> on a stone <laughs> or something, go to the jewelers and get a diamond and carve the Sanskrit. We want to do the essence of what Mahaprabhu is teaching, that when we've got something around our neck, we're always reminded it's there. We have these Tulsi Mala, we're being reminded that our, what we say, what we are eating and everything, we've got Tulsi with us. She's our witness to all of these things. So. We want to be in remembrance and by having a necklace of, the, uh, of this verse strung on the holy name, we can remember to chant the holy name with the mood of hot humility, offering honor and being tolerant. So both of these verses, then uh, we've covered, like in covered means the essence of them because it is the very basis of our good fortune in this world. Govinda, Govinda. Ananda Sundari Devi Rasi. Everything good? Dandavat Maharaj. Yes, everything is good. How are you? Yes, all is good. A new day is starting. You can see behind me. That blue, it's not a backdrop. It's the sky. It's beautiful. It's not blue, it's actually black. The cameras made it look blue. No, it is a little bit oh. blue. The day, a new day is starting over here. So we are, I am starting a new day in a good way with the Vaishnavas. And actually we're happy to have you all with us. And all over the world, the sun never sets on Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. Yes, Devi Shakti, I'll come to you in a minute. And Gurudev liked that expression very much. That all over the world, somewhere, the sun is shining on the devotees of Mahaprabhu in the line of Sri Chaitanya Saraswat. Mahaprabhu to Saraswati Thakur, to Guru Maharaj, to our family. So the sun never sets on Sri Chaitanya Saraswati. So it's rising where we are. It has risen in Australia. And it is yesterday going down in California and Washington. <laughs> so, yes. So, uh, Dibya, you put, up, you put up your hand. Yes. Um, can, uh, can you hear me? Yes. No? Yes. Oh, you can hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. Can you, can, can you go over the color shake verse? The color shake verse? Which verse is that? Am I saying it wrong? Kala Shekar. There's a Kale, verse you asked us to memorize. Which one Kale, is it? Kale Dosha Nide Rajan. Okay, that's, that's the one. Okay. All right. No, okay, okay. I, I wrote it down, but I didn't have the um, one. We, we, we just said that. So that's the um, Kala Shekar verse. Okay. Kale Great. Dosha, not Kale Shekar. Oh, um, it's the... Uh, Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, who is it by? It's a by Sukadev Goswami. Yes, Sukadev Goswami is speaking it, correct. Okay, all right. See, I, I kind of messed it up. Okay. It's okay. So now it's clear. Thank you. I, so I'll scratch this out. <laughs> I sent it to you on Facebook as well. Oh, thank you. Okay, Sukadev Goswami. All right, thank you. And Maharaj, or I could possibly ask Govinda Nandini, that when you're saying that Mahaprabhu made this uh, statement after saying that verse of the Shikshashtakam, but are there other times throughout the Shikshashtakam when he's reciting it that he makes some declaration like this? I, well, I can say that Mahaprabhu, uh, this is uh, the later part. Oh, uh, no, it's Adi Leela. Uh, I know that Mahaprabhu twice, at least, tells the uh, Shikshastakam verses in Chaitanya Charitamrita. And this is Adi Leela 17, I think in the Antya Leela. I'd have to do some homework, the other place where he's saying these verses. But I think it's only this one place where he's putting his arms up and declaring it. He's putting it, I mean, it's so nice, because even the example of how he's putting his arms up and calling out to everybody. Listen, everybody. Shunna uh, Sarvalok. Listen, everybody. Nama Sutre Gante 
para kante e shloka. So, everyone, please hear me. String this verse on the thread of the holy name and wear it on your neck for continuous remembrance. But it's not just saying Mahaprabhu said, which will be you know, also wonderful, Mahaprabhu saying, but he's putting his hands up and he's declaring it. So, we are doing... Because this. it's it's interesting that, you know, obviously Gurudev made that shloka famous for us, but without Gurudev really making that famous for us, it would be easy just to sort of skip past that verse and not even take any consideration of how important it is, even though it is Mahaprabhu raising his hands and saying like that. It's sort of the import of that wouldn't be known to me if I read through, if I'm reading through the Chaitanya Charitamrita, then I wouldn't, you know, think much of that. But Guru really showed us how vitally important that is. Vitally important. Day by day, repeatedly, Gurudev emphasizing this verse. So we are also <laughs> emphasizing it and knowing Gurudev will be happy if we only emphasize this verse <laughs> every time. I mean, Gurudev still go, he's going to be very happy. And actually, he knows very well that I am not able to learn lots of verses. He knows it very well. And that other verse which we read, Bhagavad Bhaktita Sarvam, I mean, I've heard Gurudev saying that verse different times. And once when we were there, then I'm sure he was talking to me and saying, and it may be exactly that, that one that's recorded in the revealed truth. It may be that exact time. Like, if you can only learn one verse, <laughs> you foolish people, if you listen to Srila Prabhupada, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Prabhu, Sami Prabhupada, you listen to his lectures. <laughs> oh, foolish, fools and rascals. You know, so almost like this. So foolish. But if you can only learn one verse and put it in your heart, then you will get everything given in, any, in, in every scripture, in any scripture like that. The whole essence of everything in that one verse. And by the way, I mean, that verse, we have read Prapanajivan Amritam ever since the day it came out in English. I mean, the very first opportunity. We've been reading Prapanajivan Amritam continuously and recently just completed reading it again. So, I mean, how many times we, we read it now, but how many times we read it before? And then when Gurudev was saying about that verse, then think, oh, so where is this verse? And then we find the verse. And there it is in the first chapter of Prapanajivan Amritam. So like you said, said about Chinada Pisunichana, it's so easy if we're reading the scripture. Yes, oh, we're reading this verse, this verse, and we're going on to the next verse. So I'd read that many times, or several times at least, before. But as you point out about Chinada Pisunichana, Gurudev he is pointing out, he's like focusing, putting the spotlight, putting the magnifying glass or something like just the rest of the book is faded. And then this one verse he's highlighting bright and showing this one verse, which otherwise, you know, we think, yes, it's a wonderful verse. We're you know, reading through one by one, but Gurudev pointing that verse out. Yeah. I can say to me, but to everybody, <laughs> he's pointing that verse out. So we need to have, this is why we need guidance. What is most important for us? Where to give our attention? Mm -hmm. Every verse is most important. But this way, <laughs> that also, Bhagavad Bhakti Sarvam, wonderful verse. Prapanajivanamritam, text number, oh, who's going to tell me? 35, is it? I think text number 35. 135, yes. I know it's on page 228. Reveal truth. Oh, okay. Yes. Gurudev is. What page? 248. No, 28. Uh, you talk about um, Bhagavad Bhakti Hastha. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, 228. 228. Oh, we are an encyclopedia of very good verses there, Dibhishakti. Where, the, where to find them. Okay, so now for the question I promised you all at the beginning. <laughs> now for the question. And but first of all, before I ask the question, I have to... Okay, I'm going to read to you directly what Srila Gurudev said, all right, about a verse. And please don't call out if you know the... Um, don't call out the answer if you know the answer. 
just let me read this first and then put up your hand if you know what the verse is that Gurudev is referring to. Because, you know, he's, here he is, he's focusing us, he's g g drawing our attention to one place. Okay, so this is Gurudev. So, um, so within this one verse, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur has given us everything. He has, so within one verse, he has given us the whole conception of Mahaprabhu, Sri Chaitanya Dev, and of Krishna consciousness. If you can read and memorize this verse, then everything will be within you. That is, the full conception of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, of Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Rakhok Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj, and of Sri Chaitanya Saraswati Mat. Everything, the gist of all revealed knowledge, is within this one verse. Now, you heard that great glorification of, a, of one verse. Tell me now put, so now put up your hand if you know what that verse is. Oh, look, Divya is ready, Praneshri is ready, and Kalikadamba is ready. I don't know. I don't know the actual verse, but I know which one it is. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Okay, Kelly, let's give the opportunity to Divya because I see she's very enthusiastic to tell us. <laughs> Yay! Divya, unmute your microphone, Divya, and tell us. Click on unmute your microphone so we can hear you. No, I don't know the verse. Okay. I'm You're pretty still about to the no Okay, but you which look, It looked like my hand was up, but it wasn't. What? <laughs> it looked like your hand was up <laughs> and you were enthusiastic. <laughs> your hand was up. I dude. am uh, the gist of all revealed knowledge by Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Okay, okay, Divya. I let's... can't remember it. I, I really can't. I, okay. I'm sorry. No problem, no problem. Divya, Just... you, you were referring to the book in which it is just a few moments ago. In the Bhagavatam? No. Okay, <laughs> Abhi, Abhi, you're going to give the whole story away. Okay, Divya, about putting uh, your hand up, be careful you don't go to an auction. Hello, <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, so Jeevana, no, Jeevana doesn't have a hand up. That's the curtain behind you. I thought, oh, there's a little bit of a, it looks like a hand, it's a curtain. Okay, so Kelly put up a hand. Somebody else put up their hand. Who Extra, else? Praneshri. Huh? Oh, Praneshri. Now she is coming. Praneshri, no? Yeah, I'm not here. <laughs> I thought it was the same Bhagavad Bhattita Sir Mam. I'm sorry. I know, this is, that's why I said at the very beginning when we started, that it's a little bit of a trick question because that, that verse is the verse I associate Gurudev saying about that. If you learn this one verse, you'll get the whole conception. That's Bhagavad Bhakti Tassav. It's, it's true. But this verse, a little bit of a clue was given at the beginning because Gurudev said this, this one verse by Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. So I think that also got Kelly aware of which verse it is. So Kelly, tell us, please, what well, verse I can't it? recite it, but the Dasmul Tattva verse. Correct. Yes, correct. The Dasmul Tattva. They have it here. Okay. Tell you what, <laughs> Kelly, you recite the Sanskrit, Abhinava Sundar Prabhu, you read the translation slowly and with understanding. Okay. It's short, everyone, and this is short. So but I'm obviously, it is important. The Gurudev just told us how important it is. Amnaya praha tattvam harim iha paramam sava shaktim rasabdim tad binamams cha jivan prakriti kavalitam tad vimuktams cha bhavat veda veda 
prakasham shakalam api hare sadhanam shudha bhaktim sadyam tat pritim evetya em eveti padishati janan gora chandra swayam saha okay good good okay let us hear the meaning slowly slowly and carefully the like meaning so this is the Das Mula Tattva, which states here the 10 fundamental principles. And that is, this is the, the side note before I read it. This is the basis of the revealed truth that has been compiled is based around these principles. Sri Gaurachandra personally teaches the soul that one revealed knowledge establishes the truth. Two, Hari is supreme. Three, he is omnipotent. I can just say one thing here that this, we get Hari a lot. In the Western world, it's kind of new to us to hear the Hari. But in India, Hari means the supreme personality of Godhead. And in Srila Prabhupada's books, many times, it's always spelt out like the supreme personality of Godhead. I mean, not just a general idea of God, but God the person. So mm -hmm. Hari god you can say the supreme personality of godhead so just to be aware of this because this hari comes up again and again in this translation yes prabhu, prabhu excuse me so one revealed knowledge is it, uh, sorry establishes the truth two hari is supreme the supreme lord. then yes three three he is omnipotent four he is an ocean of rust Five, the souls are his separated parts. Okay, and just tell us what is Ras. He is an ocean Ras. of Rasa. Means? Means uh, like flavor, like some sort of juicy uh, taste. taste. <laughs> in, in, a mango, in, in a mango, it is indeed the Rasa, the juice, the taste from the mango. But he is an ocean, not of mango juice, but he <laughs> is an ocean of um, relationship moods. Just like um, a child to the parents, there's that loving relationship. The parent to the child is a loving relationship. Uh, brother to sister, loving relationship. Brother to brother, sister to sister. A lover to beloved, all, to, you know, all these things. But rasa means like internal um, relationship feeling, sometimes described as mellows, you know, con you know, different kind of mellows. But why it's kind of difficult to describe because there is not an English word that really covers rasa, but it's like fulfilling relationship with the Lord in different aspects. So he's an ocean of rasa, all kind of relationships fulfilled in him. Yes, four, so he's an ocean of rasa, right, five. The souls are his separated parts. Yes. Six, Six. they are either covered by material energy or seven, liberated from material energy by devotion. Yes, either or, either they're covered by material energy or seven, they're liberated from material energy by devotion. And this will be explained a little later. I mean, Gurudev explains this very much, that only by devotional service, back to yoga, only by making our heart devoted to the Lord, can we be actually liberated from birth and death forever. Otherwise, we're under some kind of illusion, just to try to push out illusion, push out what is not, is also not the end goal. That will take us to some destination. But because the, the, the nature of life is active, we're going to have to be active again sooner or later. And because we are accustomed to being active in exploitation, putting ourselves at the center, then we fall down in the, in the rain. And the souls come down in the rain, come back into the earth, come back into the birth and death cycle. And here we are again. So only by devotion, they're liberated. So this is seven. 
Number everything eight. eight is everything is a manifestation distinct and non-distinct from Hari. Yes. Nine. Nine, pure devotion is the way. There we are. And ten, love for Hari is the goal. Okay, very good. So, in this is very <laughs> short, but very full, because as we heard from Gurudev, it's giving us the whole of the conception of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, it's a little difficult to say, oh, by this one verse, then you know, we meditate on each of these and we'll understand it all. But therefore, Gurudev has explained each of these 10 points in the book, Revealed Truth. Chapter by chapter, the chapters are organized, structured in this way. But really, this is another, it's a verse at least to hear about and to revisit. And, you know, it's not as easy to learn as Bhagavad Bhaktita Sarvam. And it's not necessarily, you know, I'm saying, oh, we have to learn the Sanskrit of it. But to be able to read it again and again and remember, oh, these are the, the fundamental 10 principal points. Dasa, Mula, Tattva. The, the 10 uh, central truths. And then step by step, Gurudev describes those. Ha, ah, so that's a little bit of hard work, isn't it, for our thing? Yes, Kelly, Kelly Garamarana. I'm just wondering, Maharaj, if um, you could help us recite the verse so that we can get the sound of the meter. Because it's um, easy to remember if we have the meter. Uh, okay, now there is a verse. I'm just seeing, I would actually recite it more or less as you did, means without a meter, but it may fit in to the meter. Just give me a little second uh, of a beautiful uh, composition by Raghunath Das Goswami. Uh, a beautiful composition. I mean, it's not for today, no doubt, because it's a little bit long, but it is the preferred prayer of uh, Shil that Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasachi Thakur preferred for gl the glorification of Govardhan Hill. And it's by Raghunath Das Goswami. And it is a prayer for a dwelling. Oh, the trouble is. The trouble is I'm connected to the web. <laughs> and so I keep on getting adverts coming up on what I want to be. All right, a dwelling near Govardhan. Okay. Oh no, it's not the same meter. It took me a while to learn this meter of the Govardhan Basha Kartana Dashaka. Didi, I can't say the meter. I would have said it like you had said it. Amnaya Praha Tatvan Harim Iha Paraman Sava Shaktim Rasab Hing Tad Bining Shangs Cha Jeevan Prakriti Hare Krishna. But that will be a little bit of hard work to memorize that. But for all of you young souls with good brains, may you be successful. Hare Krishna. Jeevana Devidasi, please give us some good advice for the success of our life. So I'm ready to leave my body worry-free. Please give me some advice. Oh, well... Uh, that wasn't the exa exact advice I was thinking, but I was thinking of some advice that I heard from Goswami Maharaj many, many, many years ago, because you're asking us to memorize these things. And he's told, he said at that time, he said, 
to remember is to remember to write it down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So that's kind of the only way I can really remember a lot of these things, Maharaj, to be honest. But whatever you can remember is going to be so valuable. And like you're always saying, like this, this one verse or just this one thing. Like I also heard that, um, that Guru Dave, don't correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard that he said that even if you can remember one song of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, it can give you everything. So I don't know if you've heard that before. Uh, uh, yes, pretty much I have. And we, will, could you state a one song that Srila Gurudev said? Amona Durmati? Yes, Amona Durmati. A very favorite song. And now... You know, okay. I'll do a little, I'm, I'm going to ask to uh, Bhakti Lalita about also one song because she tells us, but I don't want to say it without being sure. I'll ask Bhakti Lalita and guess what? So I don't forget, here's my morning face. <laughs> and so I'm going to write it down and then so ask Bhakti Lalita, ask BLD. Ray, back to the note song. Okay, so and next Mara, time I can uh, point out another song, not this one, another song, which is there. Well, actually, Maharaj, uh, Avadut Maharaj has got a kind of an adaptation to this concept that if you can't, <laughs> if you can't walk the path of devotion, then <laughs> crawl. <laughs> and if you can't crawl, just lie down in the right direction. And point. And point, lie down pointing in the right direction. You got me a bit nervous when you said he's got an adapt adaptation of this, but with this adaptation, yes, okay. So say it one more time. Is, you, what is it? He said, if you can't walk the path of devotion, then crawl. And okay. if you can't crawl, at least lie down pointing in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> very practical indeed That's but also Marat, the, the point that you were saying before about because you know we're trying to learn these verses but the key part um you know that Gurudev saying is to put it in our heart you know like we don't we're not just trying to remember them so that we can know all these things and sound really impressive but we are, it's actually something that we want to be living in our heart that we have some feeling connection to and that we are then um, interacting with the world and the Lord and each other with that as our kind of filter or the thing that's um, yeah, behind everything. Okay. Exactly. And when he uh, talked about that verse, Bhagavad Bhakti Ta Sarvam, that by serving the Lord, you will get everything. Don't worry about anything. Not that you're doing it for trade, but that's the proper position of the person, of the living entity. And, but when he was saying about that verse also, it's like, if you can just learn this one verse, but then he says, and put it in your heart. And so, you know, after repeatedly learning it and forgetting it, you know, finally we have learned the verse, but still the putting in the heart part, it is the, you know, the substantial part actually at the end of the day. And Jeevana's tip that she heard from uh, Goswami Maharaj, to, to learn is to write it down. Actually, I also, not in, exactly from Goswami Maharaj, but I'd heard before about you know, how to learn things. It's not a question of typing it into the computer, but actually pen and paper is that form of writing it down is the way to learn something. And well, I he must have been doing a lot of writing, Mara. <laughs> he must have been doing a lot of writing. Actually, Goswami yeah. Maharaj also a long time ago told me about how he started learning verses. And it was with Shruta Shrava Prabhu, who became Vaishnava Maharaj. And it was with him. He said, we are new in the, in the temple life. And you know, we're in the, the classes. We're hearing recordings of Srila Prabhupada. He's quoting the verses. And he said, 
Sri Tushrava and myself, we were washing pots in the temple. And he said, we just thought, let's try to learn a verse. And then he said, they made, uh, they call flip, flip cards, is it? Flip card or something like this. You write it in big yes. letters, a verse, like Trinada piece on each other. You write it in big letters and then you put it there. So when you're washing the pots, then the, then at the same time, you're learning the verses. And then Goswami Maharaj, he said, and then we realize, oh, we could learn verses. So while doing other things, they're learning verses. And then Goswami Maharaj said, and then we had some ego play with each other that we're trying to see who can learn them better. And he said, well, when the ego comes in, then that also, you know, it's like, almost like the proper use of ego <laughs> is to have a, a competition, you know, for learning things and keeping them in their heart. And then I remember Goswami Maharaj told me, and it wasn't about Shruta, but another devotee in the LA temple. So, you know, this is how they started. And then in the LA temple, then they are continuing this kind of learning. And then he said, um, I learned a chapter of Bhagavad Gita. And then he's thinking, oh, I learned a whole chapter of Bhagavad Gita. And then he learned that another devotee there, I can't remember his name, but a devotee who was like very sharp, he learned the whole Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> and then Goswami Maharaj said, oh, then, oh, no. Then he said, then I thought, okay, then I can't just like have a competition with everybody about you know, to learn more because some can clearly learn more than I can. But he said, then I thought I'll learn the verses that Srila Prabhupada is quoting. So then he like made a selection and then he learned those verses and then step by step. And then when he came, then he explained, when I came to Guru Maharaj, I saw Guru Maharaj is emphasizing and repeating, like in addition to many of these verses, he's reciting these other verses. So then he starts to learn the verses that Guru Maharaj is reciting. So if you've got the capacity and if you can afford a pencil and a piece of paper, <laughs> then try, see, you may also find that you're able to learn verses. But as Kelly just said, not for the sake of like just filling ourselves up so we can you know, recite verses and sound good or something, but learn verses so we catch the the, the meaning, the substance, and there is something. I mean, Sanskrit, I, you know, I have to say, it's always very tricky for me. I definitely, every time, need the translation. But when we read Chaitanya Charitamrita, there are so many beautiful verses where Mahaprabhu is speaking in, in so many different places, which are in Bengali. And the Bengali is simpler. We still need the translation. We're not going to trying to think we're pandits. But there is something very sweet in reading the Bengali and understanding, like Mahaprabhu's sweet, simple Bengali, expressing these sweet um, moods. Love, devotion, selflessness, the Vaishnavas, the qualities of the Vaishnavas, the qualities of Krishna, amrita, nectar, all these things. Prema, and so many translations. You know, Krishna Prema is more than just love of God. It's Krishna Prema. And Maharaj, can I ask a question? You can ask a quick question to me because you can probably hear the bell. I'm sitting on the edge of the temple. Oh, and, the, and the devotees are gathering. You might have noticed that the Krishna changed black to dark blue, dark blue to light blue. <laughs> but actually now it's white to the, to the daytime. So now we're going to have Mongolati here. But yes, a quick, quick question. No, it's not because I was forgetting the time. So it's not urgent. If someone else has something urgent, it's mine wasn't urgent. Well, everything's to be continued. So please, you can ask. Oh, well, just on that thinking that like, let's say we, we hear the translation and maybe have like some minuscule understanding of it. But even if we don't understand, um, how would you explain, like, can it be like a prayer? Those verses or those shlokas that we can actually, because sometimes it feels like, I don't know, we can also like at times feel like really like 
kind of desperate and almost like recite them like a prayer. I mean, is that, what would you say about that? And the mood of prayer in learning the, like the 10 principles? Well, maybe not that one, but sometimes like as we're learning verses, um, you know, because, okay, we're learning them, we're taking into our heart, but also like that they're, um, like I'm just thinking, let's say, tate nu kam pam verse, like that it's, you know, let's say when we're struggling, we can actually like even recite them. I'm just saying, is this valid or what would you say about that? Like maybe we don't, haven't really fully taken them into our heart, but actually like try and meditate on them and pray like to, um, having a general mm -hmm. idea of what the shlokas are yeah, about and for, and for the Lord to reveal that, um, deeper meaning. Yeah. In, our heart. in one word, the answer is yes. We want to be chanting these with heart. And there are, for instance, some very specific prayers, which they come in the songbook, of course, but not only in the songbook, Chaitanya Charitamrita, there's so many prayers, and Chaitanya Bhagavat, so many prayers, which is for the mercy of the Lord, etc., etc. But yes, the very first, I think, wasn't it the very first of the Mulatattva, was that revealed truth is the proof. Yeah, revealed knowledge establishes the truth. When it's revealed to you, you don't have to argue about it with anybody. I'm telling you, you know, it's revealed to me, here it is. So the slokas can reveal themselves. And you see the 60 something uh, ways that Mahaprabhu revealed that Atmarama sloka, showing that everything in that plane, it is living. And another thing is that my associate, my senior, who now has passed away from the world, um, before, Dayada Guranga, he asked Guru Maharaj, he said, there's so much emphasis about the holy name, but what about prayer? Because we see Bhaktivinu Thakur is making many prayers. And Guru Maharaj said, everything relies on the, the quality, the substance. Just to recite prayers without a heart, it has some value, auspicious sound, no doubt, to recite slokas without a heart has auspicious, has some value, no doubt. But prayer, and Guru Maharaj said, prayer can be more powerful than the holy name. It depends on our uh, mood and our expression to take the name just for the sake of finishing my rounds, etc., etc., And to make a prayer, like I'm in difficulty, dear Lord, please, you know, give me some uh, insight. Help me how to be your servitor exclusively, how to be Bhagavat, Bhaktita, Sarvam, everything for the Lord. Then prayer may have more value, Guru Maharaj said directly. By the way, that verse, Tatenu Kampan Susamikshamano, that's also on our list of future uh, back to back to basics verses. But we were trying to start with all the verses which are like very simple that we already know, most of us like the Namo Mahavaranyaya, Vantrakalpatrubhistra, these verses, we can all pretty much recite them like this very fast. But we, <laughs> we want to, we're kind of focusing as much as possible on the simple things we already know. All right, I do have to go because the devotees are gathering, the sun has come, the lotuses are blooming, and our day is continuing. Our so, day is continuing. The Rupa Nuga Prabhu, you can't talk about the cross. Thank you, Maharaj. Our southeast, west, all corners representation everywhere. I give my obeisances and let us meet again next time to be continued and at least happily we can have some remembrance, some. Hearing, remembering, reciting of whatever little we can, but in connection with Krishna, this is our process of devotional life. And Rupa Nuga Prabhu, chant Hare Krishna, be happy. All of you chant Hare Krishna, be happy. And let us continue our devotional life in each other's company. Namaha. So I need to go. Let you all be together happily. Chant the glories of our masters. 
And if you need anything from the chat box, remember as soon as this, the whole thing closes, you won't be able to get them. So copy and paste what you need to before you, before it closes. All right. Dangabat Pranam to you all. Thank you, Maharaj. Jai Jai Shri Guru Maharaj Ki. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Dangabat everybody.